Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some chat GPT tips and tricks. So if you're a beginner, you're going to learn a lot from this. These are some of the best accumulated ones that I have come up with, and I'm sure I'll come up with more. But in the meantime, here's seven of my best. First and foremost is going to be better input equals better output. This is something I discuss a lot, not just with chat GPT, but pretty much every AI technology or software that I've used. A lot of times if you're not getting the results you want, it's probably on you. Let me give you an example right here. I put, create a description for me about a product called YouTube Marketing Island. I just made it up. Anyway, let's click on enter and see what we get. All right, overall for just kind of randomly putting something in there, it was actually pretty good. But a lot of times, ChatGPT isn't going to know exactly what you have in mind because it doesn't know everything about it, but it can guess, right? If we're talking about a YouTube course and marketing, you know, you can get a good amount out of that. But if I put this and then put a little bit more, give me one second. Okay, so the beginning is the same, but I added more. This video course is for online entrepreneurs who want to build a building, who want to build and grow, one sec, their online business by creating videos that generate traffic, leads, and sales. It comes with a Facebook group where customers can ask questions about YouTube as well as weekly coaching calls. So now we have a little bit more information. So given that, we're probably going to get a better output. Let's see. All right, perfect. And if you look at it, it's going to be much more related to what is you know, talked about. Obviously, this is just a made up course, but it's good when you give it more information, then you're going to get better output. So better input equals better output. It talked about how it's a uh, video course. It talks about how they get private Facebook group where they're going to be weekly coaching, how it's for entrepreneurs. And of course, this one was actually still pretty good, but it's going to be more targeted and relevant when you give it more information in the beginning. So that was the first one. Next is going to be using chat G GPT to combat writer's block. Writer's block is when you just don't know what to write. You're staring at a white blank screen. And there's a few ways that you can go about doing this. But let's say you're going to be writing an article about hmm, golf. I love talking about golf. So let's go with that. In case you're not sure where to start, there's plenty of ways you can actually do this. Okay, so I put create titles for a blog post about getting better at golf. Why not? All right. And like I talked about, if you're looking to get rid of writer's block, titles is going to be something good. That's a great way or a, a spot where you can start. Uh, but if I copy this right here, we could just say write an introduction paragraph for. Or actually, let's take a step back. Let's say we want to do a full blog outline. So down below, I put write a blog outline for an article called 10 tips for improving your golf game. And would you look at that? I mean, it's going to be very difficult to not get stuck in writer's block if you have this huge uh, outline right here for you. And what you can even do, one more little tip, we can do an introduction. So we have our title here. So let's have it write an introduction for us. All right, so write an introduction for an article called, and of course, we have our title there. Oh, great. So there's our introduction. If you want, you can just pause the video and read it so I don't have to go over it. Usually with so many tips on this, if I read everything, it would take a good amount of time. But so next three and four are going to be my tips where you can have it write more is going to be number three, or you can have it write more unique content. This is something a lot of people don't realize. For example, if you get an introduction, you're like, that's great, but I want a little bit more. So tell chat GPT to write a little bit more. All right, and there's a lot of ways to do it, but pretty much just telling it to write more about what you just talked about is a good way of saying it. So let's hit enter here. And so as you can see at the top, they're experiencing exceptionally high demand. This is this comes up every now and then. So I'm just going to do this again. All right, so there's an introduction, like I said, with tips three and four. We can either have it write more or something a little bit more unique. And unique is going to be probably more relevant when you're doing like 10 blog titles. Say you get 10 and then you want to say something like after. I want 10 completely different ones, okay? So let's hit enter either way. Okay, not bad. There were some like couple phrases here like proper grip, I believe is in there and understanding the proper grip. But overall, it gives you a different introduction to work with. It's kind of like just generating a new title or excuse me, a new introduction, which is always good. Let's go back to the uh, blog post originally. And what we can do for our next tip is that you can write paragraphs, whether you knew that or not. So invest in the right equipment. So let's write more about this. Write a paragraph. Okay, so I put write a paragraph about investing in the right golf equipment. All right. And as I talked about with my tip, not only can you write a paragraph, but you can write multiple paragraphs in case you want more content at once. So if I just copy that same prompt in there, so write a few paragraphs. Okay. And let's hit enter and see what we get. 
All right. And if you'll notice, we do have a few paragraphs here compared to this one longer paragraph here, but we now have much more information. So keep that in mind. If you say to write a paragraph, it's probably going to give you one paragraph, but if you say a few, you're going to get much longer content. So I hope you enjoyed that tip because it's a very small one. It's very uh, distinct, but it can really help you out. Tip number six is going to be just think about anything you do online. And obviously my channel is mostly about marketing, so I'm going to kind of keep it related to that. But anything that you do or need help with, ChatGPT can probably help you with it. For example, let's talk about a social media post. If you need help writing a social media post, it can definitely do that for you. Let me give you an example. All right, so write a Facebook post about why YouTube is one of the most popular social media sites and why more marketers need to use it. So it's one of the most popular social media sites for a reason with over 2 billion active users and so on and so forth. And remember, like one of my previous tips, we could have write, have it write a few paragraphs if we wanted to. So we know how to extend it, add more to it and so on and so forth. So here's my last tip, which I think is going to be the best one. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter just because uh, I'm going to do a full blog post on this. I just, excuse me. I, I was looking at blog titles and I meant to say a full video on this, but give me a second. It's taking a little while to load. All right, so the last one is going to be combining prompts to create actual full articles. We've actually done a good amount of this. Remember I talked about removing writer's block? In the beginning, we looked for some titles and we picked out 10 tips for improving your golf game. From there, we created an outline where we have everything that we need to use for this. Like we have our tips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then conclusion. So all we would need to do is just go through and write each of these sections. And now that we know how to do that utilizing paragraphs, we could say write an introduction. Okay, so we have our title, we have an introduction, and what comes after that? So investing in the right equipment. Remember, we did a separate uh, paragraph about right here. So that would be our next section. And then we would go back to the next part and do like practicing golf regularly. And we would write a paragraph about that. And if you continue that process, eventually you'll have a full article where you talk about paragraphs for each single one of these bullet points. And by doing that, you can have a full article. Like I said, it's a very quick walkthrough. I will do a video showing you how to do it step by step. But I just wanted to make sure you got that in there because what you can do is when you're the most creative with this, you can combine prompts, you can combine previous usages of chat GPT, and you can really have it do a lot for you. But but overall, those are going to be some of my best tips and tricks when it comes to using ChatGPT, especially if you're a beginner. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.